What's up guys? This is Jordan Nothing Gilbert here, professional Counter-Strike player for Team Evil Geniuses. We're actually here at my house in San Diego, California, and I just received my new Killer2100 Gaming Network card in the mail. Now before I talk to you guys even a little about that, one thing to note is that as a pro gamer, you know, I'm traveling around the world a lot, I'm going to a lot of big events, so people tend to overlook just my playing at home, you know, people don't even ask me sometimes about like what my setup is at home, but it's really actually important for me to have really good latency and have just good hardware all around to be able to perform at my best just, you know, at home. I'm playing on a Dallas server or whatever. So I got this in the mail today and I'm totally amped on it because I used their uh, Xeno Pro card before and that wor that already worked for me and this is supposed to be supposedly be actually increasing your bandwidth control. When you're in games, it's it's allocating your bandwidth basically, so it's not you are like you're being used for background programs, basically. You know, it's being used to help run your game faster and to focus all your bandwidth and internet when you're in game on in game. You know, it makes sense. It's 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 a pretty simple and smart idea, and that's pr pretty much why I like it. You know, for me, the the simple reason is that it helps my game run better online. You know, there's obviously a lot of technical things about the software that I'm that you know that I use, but that. To me, that's, you know, it's all just a simple fact that it helps my game run better. So I'm going to go ahead and install this in my computer, actually, since I just got the box. I cut it open here. My desktop's right here. So it should be a pretty quick installation. I mean, my last one, just plug and play and whatnot. All this stuff, you know, it's pretty quick. It's a really clean setup here. Let's see what I got. The best part about being sponsored by a pro organization, you know, getting to try all the new gadgets and gizmos before they come out. Nice casing, comes here with the driver disc. Got my setup right here, nice gigabyte motherboard on the side, if you didn't notice. See? Ooh, this thing is solid. Wow. It's a beautiful little network card right there. Look at that clean logo. Alright, so if you want to give me a second there, I can come back and I'll probably have this plugged in. Stuff. Look at that beauty. It's time to boot this up, I think. Gotta test this baby out. You know, we we play big matches online for like ten grand at some cases. And we'll play on locations centralized throughout the whole country. So it's not like it's going to be a Southern California server near me or a Dallas server near Dan, you know. We all, we get lucky sometimes, but you don't want to count on that when you're playing for high stakes money like that. So it's like having network performance, having consistency in your latency is a huge part of online gaming, especially being a professional. Even not being a professional, anytime you want to be successful, you need to have the right setup. And to be able to have a network card that provides consistency with your bandwidth control, consistency with your latency, balancing in game, it's just huge to have. And you know, that's something you need online. You need the competitive edge, always. And at the least have it be running as good as you can. And if, if you don't have a killer network card in your computer, your gaming online isn't running as good as it can. Simple as that. Alright, got a fresh reboot here. See, just by plugging in my uh, Cat5 and already having the software set up, I already read my internet provider speed, the bandwidth and whatnot. You know, so there's a lot of settings over here. You can change, you know, everything. It monitors your CPU usage, your bandwidth control, everything you want, you know. This is basically a full, you know, just summary of everything going on. PC monitor, vacations here, how you have Half-Life for Counter-Strike Launcher, basically. So, you know, all this is very customizable. I'm going to go into another video on that later, just showing you my custom settings. But for now, I'm going to go in-game and show you the immediate difference I have with the Killer Network card. 
I'm uh, connected to a Dallas server where I normally have around 54 ping, uh, you know, a good day, whatnot. So I'm just connected, I'm running around, and I'm sitting at an average of actually like 42. You know, I, a friend of mine actually let me down on it might spike to 44 right there, but look at this ping, you know. This is average on Dallas right now for me. You know, there's my random skip because of my own internet. You know, but this is awesome. Like, that happens normally. So my normal skip might be from 55 to 62 because of my bandwidth. But now I'm getting 37 to 43. And just like that immediately, you know, I have this is my first time using this as well as shooting this video. So this is kind of cool for me to see that it's affecting my ping like this. And this is definitely going to be really solid for me with my, uh, you know, playing online matches. That's the matches coming up, so this is very, very beneficial to me. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed my first experience with the Killer2100 Gaming Network card. Keep coming back for more. I'm going to be showing you guys more about my custom configuration with the network card as I get more comfortable with it using it at my home. It's very customizable. Every person, you know, it's their own bandwidth, whatever. You set it all up. It's a really awesome product, so... Keep checking out and I hope you enjoyed this.